Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Indirect Redux by Demon Arisen, a remake of one of my best chambers, Indirect. Indirect Redux is a head-scratching puzzle which looks extremely simple, but isn't. So what's changed from the original? It's better looking, gameplay flows better, the puzzle has been tweaked and refined to be as clear but challenging as possible, bugs have been removed, and the chamber has been made slightly larger and the layout has been tweaked. Have fun! Brand new chamber coming soon. Alright. Well, let's get started. I think Nock actually played Redux, like, a day or two ago. But yeah, Redux I think was the, one of the first ones that I played out of the, the requests from Demon Arisen. Oh, oh, we got crisscrossing ant lines. Oh well, that's not too big a deal. So there turns off that, and... That turns off this. Yep, yep, yep. Let's start by calling the cube. Wait, how do we get in there? Oh, okay, we have to go around this side. I thought I had to go around that side, but nope, gotta go around this side. Why is- why is it designed like this? I guess that must be to fix some sort of exploit, I guess. That's still like that. That's decorative. What is that? Is that like a secret or something? What is that? I wanna see what that is. Oh, I can't really see what it is, but, uh... I don't know what that is. I guess it might be just decorative? Maybe? Oh well, if we don't use it by the end of the puzzle, then I'll look at it with no clip or something. Alright, so... First things first... Let's go ahead and disable that fizzler. So, if we do... oops... we do this... We also have a reflective goo pond for Hugo. How nice. Alright, portal there, portal there. Yep, first try. Alright, so then the next step. Uh oh, are there not any portal surfaces out here? I don't remember if there were before. Over here? Nope. Interesting. I guess we just do this first, then. Yep. So the light bridges on either side is a Rectorox trick that makes it so you can't place the portal too far on either either side. I'm not sure why it's necessary for this puzzle. I guess it's just a convenience. It's like a sort of placement helper. Anyway, the next bit of what we want to do... I think, anyway... If I'm remembering correctly. Something along these lines. We want to do this. Step outside, and... Kablooey. Or maybe we wanted to point at that, actually. Maybe. Yeah, let's- let's- let's try that first, actually. So let's see, let me line this up with, uh, the grid tiles here. The room is a bit larger, so it makes- makes it harder to get the angle just right because of how Valve decided the cubes needed to bounce a little bit when they land. Valve. All right, so oh right, we need to do that last. All right, so we head over here. We stand on this, and then we plunk. There we go. And then then what? I guess. Oh, uh, <laughs> I need to not be standing on the platform then. Yeah, let me stand here, then I'll do this, then I'll do this. There we go, now we still have the laser, technically. And we can use either one of these portal surfaces. Okay, so that's where the glass leads. Alright, that answers that question. This, grab the cube, and we are done. Wait, how is that connecting? Wow, that's just barely connecting. <laughs> Alright. Well guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!